rainy weather. The beach is <laughs> always pretty, isn't it, Natasha? It is. In fact, uh, taking the sights here, look at that, Lincoln City. Just watch the waves roll up and over the rocks there. Such a pretty picture, even on a gray day like today for sure. 58 right now, wind is out of the southeast at 7 miles per hour. We'll have a stronger wind from the south tomorrow, which is going to bring our temperatures up and keep our dew points up too, which will make it in combination feel a little bit humid by tomorrow afternoon. Radar right now showing us a few isolated showers spread across southwest Washington outside of Portland and out through the gorge as well. But most of you are just simply seeing cloudy skies, unless of course you're in Eastern Oregon where you're seeing lightning flashes. Now the number of lightning strikes here in the last half hour up to about 17. So we're seeing a reduction in lightning strikes overall detected by radar. Uh, but noticing out towards Baker City and along I-84, that's where some of the wild weather is heading out to the east. Now over to Portland. Nice view there, 63 degrees. Wind is out of the south at 8 miles per hour. Through tonight, your temperature really doesn't change much. We're going to get down to about 60 degrees by 11 o'clock, leading up to midnight, 61 and mostly cloudy. Let's talk about that rain. Today, all right, we picked up 4 tenths of an inch. Well, 0.44 to be exact. Month to date, what's our total? 2.32 <laughs> inches. That's pretty awesome. Considering every single month, this year, except for January, we have been below normal in our monthly rainfall totals. So where does that put us? Now we have a nice surplus of over an inch and a half of rain, and we're not even done with the month yet. We're not even halfway through. So this will be pretty exciting news, considering when you look at the entire rainy season since October 1st, we have a deficit, but we are making marks. We were making a dent in that number. It was up to about nine and a half inches below normal. Now we have about seven point 91 inches below normal. Little, little pieces. Celebrate whatever we can here. Mostly cloudy skies for you tomorrow. In the morning, you may be waking up to a few isolated sprinkles. Otherwise, for the afternoon, we're counting on partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the mid 70s. Now, areas where you do actually pick up on a little bit of rain early in the morning, that could um, put us closer to about a tenth of an inch in the valley, almost at the high end, two tenths of an inch. But again, most of that rain actually falling in the morning hours. Not expecting much to measure, though, in eastern Oregon, maybe a tenth of an inch for you. Seven day forecast looks like this. It's quite a variety. So tomorrow, a few uh, isolated showers early in the morning, then breaking away to partly cloudy skies, 76. Thursday is mostly cloudy, 75. Friday, we're going to start off the day dry, but then end with some showers, 66 for your high. And then for the weekend, we're back to, yeah, you guessed it. Remember last weekend, it was kind of showery. Temperatures were in the low 60s. We're going to see more of that on Saturday. On Sunday, mostly cloudy and 67. Coin 6 News, we'll be right back.